What is the one word you would describe to use how you felt when the Packers traded up to take Jordan Love? Shock. Uh, honestly, just, just sitting at the TV watching it, couldn't believe they did it. Uh, you know, you're talking about a guy who has led your, led your organization to all these wins, Super Bowl champion, all those things. You would think you're going to give him some help, right? He and Devontae Adams, give him, give him a second team for a third round wide receiver really help you. Instead, you take a quarterback up that high. I don't understand the thought process. I understand people trying to prepare for the future in organization. But at the end of the day, you could have helped Aaron Rodgers in this way and shown him and showed the organization or, or showed the locker room we're trying to win now by doing this. I don't think by drafting a guy who, unless Aaron Rodgers gets hurt or you're up by 30 or down by 30, will even touch the field. Yeah, and obviously we're having some issues there with Jeff's audio. We'll do the best we can to get that thing straightened out there. But Mark is able to pick up uh, what he is saying there. Clearly, this is a situation that people continue to talk about. What are you hearing as you talk to people around the league now? We, of course, reacted to it strongly when it first happened. But, Marcus, as you talk to other people, what are you hearing from other people and, and close to the league? Gee, obviously, uh, everybody was, was – I, I wouldn't say the sentiment is shocked. They just thought it would have been a better situation for the Packers to go wide receiver and put Aaron Rodgers in a better position to win, maybe get to the Super Bowl. I mean, this was an NFC championship caliber team last year. I think the thing that has people perplexed is – when you have a quarterback of Aaron Rodgers' stature and when you have a quarterback that has done what Aaron Rodgers has done over the time in his career in Green Bay, no one, no one is ready to see any glimpse of the change that's inevitable in every NFL organization or franchise. And I think that's what this signaled. Look, this is obviously about the fact that they were deficient at receiver perceivably. And, and look, I've said it, we talked about it uh, a while back when it happened, is obviously Green Bay, Matt LaFleur, the decision makers felt like they needed to address other situations and positions, obviously one being quarterback. And oh, by the way, Aaron Rodgers is 37 years old. So at some point, you have to start to develop a succession plan. A part of this is the emotion that they drafted a quarterback. The other part is everybody's going crazy about this receiver spot. And I keep contending that this team was in the NFC Championship last year. Yeah, and which means they were a step away from a championship. We'll see. Uh, Diana Rossini rejoins us here. Diana, what, what did you make of that as, as you sat there and you watched what happened in Green Bay and all of the reaction? What were your thoughts? Well, Greeny, let me throw it on a head coach who I talked to yesterday when I was going through some of the schedule conversation we were going to have on the show today. And he made a great point. He said, you know, the game that I – am looking forward to seeing this season is actually going to be the Packers and the Bucks. It's a bit of a back to the future feel because you've got Tom Brady who we saw walk away from an organization that we, we really thought that perhaps he would never leave because he was so cherished, so successful there. While he's going up against Aaron Rodgers, who perhaps may have to be sitting there in the same position in just a few years and make a decision if he needs to leave an organization that he has said publicly he wants to stay with. So that's one point that I thought was really interesting and, of course, will be fun to watch from that perspective of Aaron Rodgers. But another coach pointed out when this all went down – closer to the draft about the type of offense Matt LaFleur is trying to run here, which seems to be very run heavy and very similar to what we see out in San Francisco with Kyle Shanahan. But the difference here in Green Bay, you've got Aaron Rodgers. You don't got Jimmy Garoppolo where, you know, perhaps we're not too confident giving him the ball. So um, not too sure if LaFleur is aware that he's got one of the greatest <laughs> quarterbacks to ever play the game on his offense. Yeah, he's aware. I'm just not exactly sure he's handling it right, or at least the way most of us think that he should. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.